Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tim. Welcome back to the vlog. If you've been watching us, we just finished up an amazing impromptu trip to Italy where we visited Florence and the beautiful region of Tuscany. We absolutely can't wait to discover more of Italy and if you haven't seen these videos, be sure to check out our channel for more. After a very short night on the Flix bus, we ended up back in Germany and that's where today's adventure begins. So we're back here in Germany right now. We're in Reutlingen, which is Katrin's hometown. And we spent a few lovely days with her family and catched up a bit on work. As you can see, we're here just working on our laptop. We need some space to work. And we need a bit of inspiration. So we're gonna move just a little bit to the left. We booked a random last minute flight to Barcelona. <laughs> okay, we finally packed everything up. We're rushing now, as usual, very last minute. That's why we're going to Barcelona. It's July and we should be wearing a jacket in this lovely country of Catrins here. If you had the opportunity to go to Barcelona for 70 something dollars last minute, wouldn't you? I've heard something that there's like one week of summer in Germany and we were there for it. And now we're gonna go to a much warmer place. We're gonna see my friend Sarah. We took the Espresso bus, it was okay. Easy, seven euros, which I find kind of expensive for going just to the airport, but okay. Today we're flying Vueling, which I've only flown once before. The last time I went to Barcelona, and it was pretty good last time. Let's see how it goes today. We get 10 kilograms of bags each, and I added one more bag for I think 30 something dollars. Not bad. As always, really excited for travel days, especially travel days that involve flying, my favorite method of transportation. Let's see what it's like flying around Europe, summer of 2021. Let's go. Seems like we're not the only ones who are trying to go to Barcelona. The line is out of control. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're through security now. We still need to fill out some sort of QR code to get into Spain. That is like a bit of a surprise to us, but the flight is boarding and we're hopping on. Next stop, hopefully Spain. Okay, here we go. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign has been switched off. You may now make and receive calls and use the data services on your mobile phone and handheld electronic devices. Okay, so we've made it here to Barcelona. That was a uh, easy flight, but my God, so many children screaming. I've never seen anything like this in my life. They just screamed for almost two hours. We're gonna go grab our bags and then get picked up by Sarah, my good friend now. Hola, hello. Oh. Okay. okay. I guess we made it. Hello Mateo again, how are you? He's feeling sorry now. So excited. Straight from the airport to the top bus. Yeah, I love it. That's right. <laughs> we waste no time here. Literally no time. Right, we have an expert here. She's ordering for us. Patatas bravas. Que se manche? Tipo a la gallega. Que mas habíamos dicho? De croquetas? Ah, si. You want some? Yeah, croquetas? Las croquetas están por unidad. Entonces, las cuantas quieran. First wine here in Barcelona. <laughs> Lovely. It's a verdejo. Verdejo? Okay. Verdejo. Verdejo. There you go. <laughs> so it's coming up on 20 years that I will know Sarah. Approximately. Oh 
No, it's oh. already been 20 years. Yeah, I'm 35. Yeah, me too. We met when we were like 14 years old. 14 years old, wow. yeah. 20 years. Oh my god. 20 years, all right, you gotta have another cheers to that. <laughs> And we always find a way to find each other. Mostly you, yeah, because you do all the traveling. But you're very conveniently located here in, in Europe. Hey they man, locate? anytime you know my house is always open. And you're Sabadell. Gracias. This is amazing. We're having Spanish tapas in Spain. Like what? This is crazy. And we were literally sitting, <laughs> unsure what to do. And we're like, you know what? Let's just go to Barcelona. And now we're here. Got my patatas bravas, potatoes with aioli, and seasonings. And it's pretty much the main thing here. It is the nasi goreng of Spain. Oh, I can't wait for this week. It's going to be eating, seeing things. Beach, it's raining in Germany. And it was also very cold. It wasn't good. This is good. This is very good. I have to preface all of this by saying that I'm an expat too. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt. But what I've learned living here is that this is the most basic Catalan dish. It's right. literally just toasted rustic bread, but you rub it first with garlic. You take a clove of garlic and you rub it. Then you take the tomato, you cut it in half, rub the tomato on the bread, and then you drizzle with like extra virgin olive oil like from here. And you can eat this anytime, for breakfast, for lunch, for a snack. It goes with everything. And it's so simple and it's so good. I don't know how or I don't know why, but it is. And it's like, I've never had something so tasty. And it's the most basic thing, you know? All right, so let's eat this. Right. I will try this first. Yes, please go for it. Why not? Okay. All right, go for it. All right, it. ready? It smells fantastic. It smells like tomato heaven on bread. Mm -hmm. It's crispy. <laughs> With the salt, the tomato, the garlic, it's all just working together very well. It's so simple. It's very simple, really nice. It's much more simple. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you really taste so like the simple. quality of the oil. It's good. Wow. Okay, the Germans said wow twice. Let's try the manchego. Can it be bad? It can't probably be bad. Oh, it smells good. Wow! Yo, this is incredible. Definitely happy to have this manchego. We have so much coming up, so definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up on the video, and we'll see you in the next one.